correlation ID colon, and then you put in your correlation ID and your end. You could just use the correlation ID free text. Let's just take one. You don't even need to know the attribute name or the property name that you're looking for. Typically, you can just, just do like this, and this gives you the entry. So you just put the value that you're looking for. You can, okay. however, say I have an attribute dot, and then the attribute, the list of available attributes will show up. This this environment is unfortunately empty now, but the list, the the list of uh, available attributes will show up. Let's just uh, do this now. Um, if we if we go and say, let's uh, re read file. How often does this execute the read file? This yeah. executes 11 for, so it executes very often. I see this. Let, let's just go and uh, configure read file and configure an attribute. Custom attribute, my attribute. And that my attribute, I will just give it now a default value. Uh, one and one, for example. Normally I can take it from the input from the payload using a JMS path. But just now, because of uh, our time limitation, you see, I, I'm done. I did it. So from now on, whenever this process executes, um, it will have this attribute set, and that attribute will also become available for search. So this is how it goes. Now you see it. My attribute is available. And if I do, I want to search for attribute. And I do. Uh, attribute dot that list will also refresh very quickly. It will automatically appear here. Mm -hmm. My attribute. Yeah. Attribute and then equal nine one nine. And then you get it. So that would be the syntax. 